Okay, I wanted to quickly show you how you can upload new PDFs or documents to the website um, on Wix. So first you want to log into Wix.com. You're going to see your dashboard. You select your site and open up the editor by clicking on Edit Site, which I've already done. It does put it into a new um, window, which I already have open, so I'm opening up that. Then you want to go to the page that you want to upload your document to. Uh, so when you first come into the editor, you'll land on the home page. To get to the publications page, you can use this page drop-down menu here. You can also use this one over here. So there's kind of two. I find this one's a little easier to use because um, it organizes them a little bit nicer so you can see what they look like in the menu structure. So once you're on the publications page, you want to close out of that little window and then scroll down to the buttons that you want to add uh, a PDF to. In this case, um, we just need to change the name of this annual report to 2018. And we should actually, I guess, call it Community Report, since that's what you um, were calling it. Um, and now this is linking to a PDF that I have uploaded onto the server. So let's go here. So here it is. Let's rename this as well, because I did, I think, have this with 2019. It should be 2018. Um, so now I have that selected and I click add to page and then it's showing me that I um, have linked to this file and I click on done. Now this um, button is linked to that 2018. Again, I'm just double clicking on it to change the name. What does this button say? You can change it to be called whatever you'd like um, and then you can change the link as well just by simply double clicking on any of these buttons. So if you want to upload a PDF of um, any of the other documents you mentioned, like the art plan, uh, the education master plan, um, that is just a matter of double clicking on this and then clicking here, go to choose file, and then you're going to upload a new PDF file. So you can upload any files from your computer. It does need to be a PDF and it can only be up to 25 megabytes. Um, so if it's bigger than that, you'll want to open it up into Adobe Acrobat and save it at a lower resolution so it's under 10 or 25 megabytes. Um, you could also upload it to other avenues like a Google Drive under the um, FSUC account, like a Gmail account, um, and put it in Google Drive and then you would get the link from Google Drive and link it that way. Um, but if you want to upload the PDF into the Wix platform, you just click here on Upload Media. Um, and then once you've uploaded it, it will appear here. You can select it and then um, apply it to that, that uh, button. So I'm going to let you fix this one. It sounds like you have that Education Master Plan PDF right now. It looks like this is linking to the public art map. Um, so feel free to change this to the appropriate PDF um, and uh, then that should be fixed. Now any one other little thing, let's say you want to add another button like this. The way I do it is I just click on any of these things and then go up to your file um, or edit I guess it would be and then you can copy and paste. It's also just command C on a Mac and command V on a um, Mac. but. Uh, PC might be different. I can't remember. It might be a, a different control um, C and control V. But if you know your copy and paste fast keys, you can use those. Otherwise, use your file menu under edit and then go copy and then hit paste. And what that does, well, let's see, it did it paste. You can also right click on this and copy and paste. There it goes. I don't know why it didn't work that last time. If it doesn't work, try it again. <laughs> now I have a second one or a new uh, button. Now I can double click on this, change the name of this to any button name I want, and then also again link to a file. So I can link to a new file, a PDF, or if I want to link to a page or a web page, um, you can choose these other avenues as well. Uh, if you wanted to link to an outside website, for example, or a page on the site, you can click here and you can select from all the existing pages. Um, and then there's document for PDFs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because we don't need that here um, currently, but feel free to edit this one and edit any others that you'd like. Um, the last step to do is to publish it uh, when you're done making your changes. Once you hit publish and it has this little check mark, that means that you're done, it's uh, updated on the site, and you can view the site. Um, it even gives you a little prompt to do that. So I can come here, 
I'll go to our About Us, go to that publications page, and see if it has been updated. And yes, it has. Now it does say 2018 Community Report. Um, the other thing, the last thing, I'm going back into the editor now. Um, I'm going to this little mobile icon. I just want to make sure that these buttons look good. If you're not adding anything, this wouldn't be a problem, but it, let's say you duplicated a button and you added a button. It might place the button just like somewhere random, like down here or somewhere else. Um, so you just want to go into the mobile editor, move things around, and move your button to where it needs to be if it's not in the right spot. Again, this only happens when you add new elements, but I wanted to let you know that to double check the mobile view, you can also look at it on your phone. Um, and if you see anything out of place or out of sync uh, or overlapping, you can click on any of these items and move them accordingly. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is a great little drag tool that moves everything down below it. Um, so I love that little tool. You can also resize things using these little handles. Um, you can't actually do any edits to these, so I can't edit what it says or where it's linking because I do that in the desktop version. But you can move these around. You can even hide them if you don't want them to show up on mobile. Um, but And then what I want to do is go back to my desktop. And if everything looks good, I'll publish again. And then I will view the site on the front end. Make sure everything's looking good. It is. And then we're done. So. Um, that's a quick tutorial on how to add buttons and, and link to PDFs on your publications page on this website. Let me know if you have any other questions.